Audi's RS3 has been a mainstay of the hot hatch segment for a long time now. Consistently punching into supercar beating territory in terms of performance, the new RS3 arrives with an even more focused approach than before alongside some clever technology that should make it even better to drive. But with established rivals like the Volkswagen Golf R and Mercedes AMG A45S still on the scene, the RS3 has got to be pretty good to come out on top. Let's take a look at what it has to offer. The new RS3 is based on the latest generation A3, which means it gains the basic appearance of that car. However, it's been seriously bulked up in its RS transformation, with chunky arches and a more aggressive front end, helping to give the RS3 some serious presence. Around the back, you've got the usual oval-shaped exhaust pipes, which have become a hallmark of Audi RS models. Remember too that the RS3 is available in both traditional hatch and saloon layouts, with both cars exhibiting a distinctly eye-catching design, particularly in brighter colours. Because the RS3 uses a regular A3 as a basis, it benefits from all the latest technology available in the standard car. As such, there's a large central screen running Audi's latest software, and it includes features such as Apple CarPlay 2. The level of fit and finish is great too, with high quality materials used throughout. The thin rimmed steering wheel is particularly good, while the brushed metal pedals are just as good to look at as they are to use. The seats are comfortable and supportive as well, but there are some harsher plastics here and there which does lower the tone. Overall though, it's a great place to be. A hot hatch needs to have practicality on its side in order to be usable on a daily basis, so it's good to see that the RS3 does relatively well in this regard. The issue is that the RS3's four-wheel drive system eats into its luggage space, leaving a compact 282 litres on offer. You can extend this to 1,104 litres by folding down the rear seats, mind you. If you want more space, then the saloon version is a better option as it brings 312 litres of seats up boot space, which can be increased by dropping down those rear seats. The RS3's 2.5 litre turbocharged five cylinder engine has always been the RS3's party piece, so you can understand why Audi has left it well alone for this generation. Though its 394 brake horsepower output remains unchanged compared with its predecessor, Compared with its predecessor, its torque has risen from 480 Nm to 500 Nm. In addition, the power delivery has been recalibrated to arrive lower in the rev range, meaning that this new car feels much faster in the real world. In fact, the RS3 will do 0-60 in 3.6 seconds before going on to a top speed of 155 miles per hour though this can be lifted to 180 miles per hour with the optional RS Dynamic Pack. This new RS3 really does move the game along in a pleasing way. It's no less usable than before, but still manages to deliver that ferocious straight line speed that people love. It looks pretty good in RIs too, while the interior technology will no doubt win many fans. The ability to choose hatchback or saloon layouts is another real draw too, and adds into a comprehensive package that'll go down a treat with all manner of drivers. <music>